In this video, I want to look at robotic process automation and explore what it is and how you can use it in practice. Robotic process automation or RPA is one of the major of the 25 technology trends that I talk about in my book Tech Trends in Practice that looks at the 25 biggest technology trends that are, will transform the next decade. And RPA, there's lots of misunderstanding around what it is and what it can do. and has also evolved very rapidly to where it is today. So I thought I'd do a little video on what it is, where we are today and how we can use it in practice. Basically, if you think about robotic process automation, think about it as automating some of the white collar work. So the word robot basically means we are programming a computer, a, an algorithm to do things that previously humans did. And especially for some of the rule-based and more structured processes in our companies, we can automate them. So let's think about a call center, for example, where a call center agent, if there's a complaints call coming in, they would open a certain window, look up certain documents, trace something else, maybe put a few numbers into different fields and calculate this. This can be automated. And in the past, we used robotic process automation and we had to basically program this in. So a human had to watch what the process was, document this process, and then write this down and program a robot to do this. Nowadays, we have robotic process automation that is enabled by artificial intelligence and machine learning, which basically means that machines can simply watch us and see what we do and then automatically learn from this and suggest amendment and improve our processes and automate certain parts. So just think about this intelligent software layer in a call center that watches what is taking place over a month and then over time learning it. So when someone rings in with a complaint, it will automatically open this window. It will automatically make some of those calculations. It will automatically pre fill some of the forms and so on. So this is where we are nowadays. And if you just think about your own world and what this could potentially do, in my own job, I might get an email in from someone saying, oh, can you do this job for us? Can you do this consulting engagement? Can you do this speaking gig? And then the email, email conversations are very similar from there onwards, where you then say, okay, give me some more details on this and this and this, and then they come back and then negotiate on price and whatever. And all of this can be automated. If I had a software layer that was intelligent, that would watch me for a month or so, it could then learn and pre-populate some of these emails or even run them automatically. So Gartner, the IT and consulting company that does lots of research on technology, is predicting that 85% of all companies, of all large companies, will have some sort of robotic process automation in operation by 2020. So this is very real. And beyond some of the examples I've already given, um, claims handling in insurance is another great example. So the American insurance company, um, American Fidelity, they basically have figured out that every hour they're spending on robotic process automation will change them 10 hours in time afterwards. So huge benefits. And um, what we're seeing, there's lots of processes around um, employee onboarding, for example. Again, if you think about some of the HR processes, you give people the same bits of information, the same documents to fill out and so on. And a lot of this can be automated. I see this now with many of my clients that automate not only employee onboarding but supplier onboarding and validating suppliers and so on. So think about all your structured processes where you tend to do similar things time and time again. Some of the administrative white collar managerial tasks that we now do that are repetitive, all of these can be automated using robotic process automation and increasingly without even programming, just by simply having an artificial intelligent uh, infused uh, RPA tool watching what you do. So hopefully that has given you some clarification on RPA. If you want to know any more on any of the other 25 technology trends, check out my book, 
tech trends and practice or head to my website where you can find thousands of articles on um, all of the major tech trends or um, browse my YouTube channel where you can find lots of videos.